So we're going to set up a materials test in light burn for white marble. I've always wondered if my diode laser would etch on it, but I didn't have any laying around, so I just kept putting it off. Well, the other day I was in the thrift store, which is a great place to get practice materials, and I found these old coasters. This one fell apart, so we're going to sacrifice it for the greater good. We're going to figure this out together. So I'll get this set up in the laser. We'll jump in light burn together, set up the materials test, and we'll see how good it works. Or if it don't work at all. Welcome to the channel. I'm Dave. Let's get right to it. Okay, so we're in light burn. We're going to go up top to laser tools. Go down to material test. You'll get this pop up. Now the first thing to notice is down along the bottom, the Y center and the X center is only showing because I'm in absolute coordinates and this gives me the center of the laser bed. If you were in uh, user origin or current position, they would be grayed out. So let's go test that. Let's close here and go over and change it to current position. Now we'll go up to laser tools again, material test, and you can see that they're grayed out. Uh, I just didn't want that to happen to you, and then you have to spend half the day trying to figure out why. All right, so let's go back to laser tools, down to material test. These numbers across the top, that's the number of boxes that will be printed out in the test. So if we go to a preview, you can see it's just these number of boxes. We click OK. Uh, the marble piece is kind of small, so I'm going to change this to 6 on both accounts. Now, over here on speed, um, this is just a basic default. But since for marble, if it marks it at all, it will certainly take a, uh, a low speed and a high power. So I'm just going to go ahead and change the max to 100 and for power over here I think I will change the minimum to 40 and leave the max at 100 now you just have to play around with these and do it a few times uh, regardless of what material you're testing on but it's good to do this just to have a good starting position and know uh, what's needed so this is the size of the box, five millimeters. But again, since it's a small piece of marble, I'm going to change that to four on both sides. And I believe that's all we need to change there. Now down across the bottom, uh, first, this edit border setting, uh, I believe that was added around version 1.6. And that's if you're, if you're cutting on wood and you want to cut it out uh, when you're finished with your test. Or if you just want to put a border around it, you can set that here. But I'm going to turn it off <clears throat> because I, I don't know if I can even mark marble. Uh, so I'm certainly not going to try to cut it. Now, this edit material setting, the only reason you need uh, to click in that and open it is so you can be sure you're set here for a fill. You don't want to do a line. If you're doing a, a cut test, you would, but for this, you'd want to do a fill. Uh, the numbers up here, it's just what uh, was pulled up from your layer the last time you used it. So you don't even have to change that because it's being controlled here. You have, we have speed and power that's going to fluctuate throughout the test, so you don't even have to change it. Uh, everything else here is fine. You could change your pattern, but since I don't know how well this will work or even if it'll work at all, I wouldn't want to change it to a crosshatch. And so we'll just test it with this and see how it works. The line interval is just a, a default for diode and I believe for CO2 lasers as well. And uh, let's see. We'll click OK. Just remember, put it on a fill. Click OK. Now for the text editing, it's going to be the setting for all the text, top and bottom, the numbers, speed and power. So you want to use something that 
has the best chance of marking on that material. So we'll open that up. And I will leave the speed at 20 and max power at 100. So uh, that should be good. And I think that about does it. Now I've got my my piece sitting in the center of the uh, of my laser bed because of this here. And but just know after you get set up, you do a frame. If it's if it's off at all, since it's a test, the best thing to do is just move your piece of wood or your material, whatever it happens to be, under the laser head and just do a few frames, get it set up, block it down good, and then you'll be okay. Uh, now also this marble, it's got it's got a little shine to it. And with anything shiny, you run the risk of damage in your laser so be careful with that certainly remember it if you're doing a, a mirrored object uh, and do something that will dull it either put some painters tape or uh, some paint or something on it that will give it a dull finish okay so I'm going to do a uh, final frame and then we'll jump in the laser we'll run this test and uh, See if it works. And remember, anytime you're doing a, a materials test, be sure not to leave your laser unattended. Uh, because of these extreme powers and, and speeds, the low speeds, you can easily have a problem and you don't want it to happen while you're not watching it. Okay, folks, we'll jump in the laser, run this test, and see how it turns out. I'll be right back. Okay, folks, I believe we're ready. Uh, I'm going to do another frame real quick. Everything fits now. Just remember if you do a frame and it's not quite right, just move your piece. It'll be easier to do that and uh, just move on with the test. Okay, uh, let's send the code over, run this test, and see what we got. Okay, it looks like it uh, done pretty good, but I'm going to let this cool. Uh, I'm sure it's kind of hot. I'm going to let it cool. I'll clean it off, and then we will uh, get that tape off and see what we okay, got. Okay, so it's cooled down now. Uh, I wanted you to get a good look at how it looks before I take this uh, tape off. So I'll get this off, clean it up a little bit, and we'll see what we've got after that be right back okay so here's our finished test hopefully you can see it pretty good again we went from 10 millimeters per second up to a hundred and forty percent power to a hundred percent power on a 40 watt laser so high speed low power we didn't see much action but down here on low speed and high power we done pretty good so I may take that other coaster and do a uh, maybe a paint through do an etching at 40 or 50 percent power and just leave the tape on clean the dust out and paint through and see how that works so watch out for that video i'll try to get it out soon uh, but by the time you get over to 80 percent or 100 percent power you could do a uh, resin fill with that it's pretty deep so hopefully this was helpful if it was please like and subscribe uh, it helps the channel grow and it keeps me out here in the shop figuring these things out because uh, I had no idea how this marble would work out. So if you have questions, let me know. I'm glad to answer them on this project or, uh, or any other. Uh, just check back often for new videos. You folks take care and we'll see y'all next time. Thank you.